Hello and welcome to Malware Analysis for Hedgehogs. Today uh, I will be talking a bit about uh, convenience tricks, tips and tricks you can use for your analysis lab, especially if you analyze a lot and if you, if you want to do uh, process a lot of files, you should consider making your life a bit easier and using some of those tricks. Um, the first thing that I do is I create lots of batch scripts for tools I use frequently uh, with the switches I use frequently because a lot of the tools that we use are command line tools and for instance Podex Analyzer um, there are two comma two switches that I use a lot and I don't want to type them in all the time. So here I created this Podex Analyzer batch file. You can use any scripting language actually, but I think batch is convenient for uh, for Windows just um, yeah. Okay, now what does a script actually do? First it will check if the um if the first argument that is given to the batch script is a um, directory and if it is a directory it will uh, check all the contents of the directory um, the files that are in there if those are folders it will skip them and otherwise it will call podix analyzer jar with the two switches that I mentioned the first is the p switch that switch will um, output a well, create a create a visualization of the binary and the second is the minus o switch which will create a report uh, in a text file and that's our actual file that's used. I also pipe it into the more command so if there's a lot of output you can navigate through the output and read all of it um, just leave it away if you don't like it. <coughs> um, and in this path we have not a folder, we don't have a directory but we have a single file so I call the same command just on that file and also I will start notepad to show our to show our uh, report and I will start run DLL to um, to open this function image view full screen that's in the photo viewer.dll. This will basically show our visualization um, directly open it up in the image viewer of Windows. Okay. Um, the second one, the second script that I did is the, the well, example that I want to show you is SigCheck. Um, that's a system internal suit uh, tool and also a command line tool. Um, the, it's basically the same as in Podix Analyzer, just um, not that complicated because SigCheck.exe already has a switch for subfolders and that's all it does. It will again check if it's a directory that we um, submitted to the file, passed to the file and if it is it will just use this switch otherwise it will um, perform the zig check on the file and this will uh, put all of the output by zig check into a zig check.txt file and append it and then we start notepad on uh, and show the result. Now here's how this looks in action. This is our sample. I drag it into the batch file. Now it will show me the output on the on the command prompt and when it's done it opens up the visualization and also it opens up the report so I can directly read it. It saves me a lot of time. I don't have to open the command prompt and type everything in, so pretty convenient. Or in case of zigcheck, well, let's just use a folder for this one. <coughs> Here, it opens it up, and now I have a zigcheck output for all of the files in that uh, this internal suite folder. Um, I often use this for pubs. Like sometimes, if you have a pub, it will download lots of other adware files, and if you collect them into one folder, 
run the sick check on them you can you might see some interesting facts already uh, files that you might want to analyze further in case you don't want to look at all of them so that's nice um, now I usually do not want to drag the the sample into the batch files so it's, it's it's a bit annoying. I actually want to have the same effect by right clicking and using the context menu. And for that, we can just edit the registry. You press the Windows button and R, and you get. Uh, you can enter rec edit. Yes, we know what we are doing. And in this uh, H key class is root. You navigate to the star and the shell, and there you right-click new key, enter the the name of the command you want to use. For instance, dig check. Now you need to create another subkey called command, and in this you will enter the path of the batch file, because that's why we created the batch file, right? Just use that and please use quotation marks if there are any uh, spaces in the path, otherwise you might run into some problems. Okay, and this uh, is uh, the the argument for the batch file. So um, when I right click on that file and use uh, press the zig check, this will be uh, the argument will be this file. That's the one. Okay, let's test it. Does it work? Yeah. Perfect. Um, the same has to be done for the folder. So you right click, you want the same zig check command for the folder. Again, we are in HK classes root, now directory. Where is directory? There it is. Uh, shell and new key zig check new key command it's the same as above so could we enter the path and the argument and now we can call the command like this that's great so and that's actually it. Um, I will I will post the uh, pasteable links to the batch files below, uh, so you can use them and modify them. You can you can use them for most tools it, that uh, you use regularly. And I really recommend that you put some work into setting this up because it will save a lot of work in the future. So um, yeah, I hope this is of any help for you. So, uh, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.